the season. Friends and family in attendance this weekend. We've had some rain, which has caused a slight delay. But as the Mini Moto rookies line up for the opening race, my commentary colleague Jake Sanson joins me. And Jake, last time we were here at Wigan, the Mini Motos delivered some great race action. And with these conditions, I'm expecting something similar. Yeah, you can never predict the weather at Wigan. It never really gives you what you're expecting. And with these mini motos, it should be pretty lively. Nelly New, pole position. Emilio Pereira in second place. Then Austin Dilks and Finley Styles. Randy Carter and Joe Atherzic is going to be there in sixth position. Let's see what Joey can do from P6 on the starting grid. Behind the top six, we've still got some good competition from Oscar Rowland. Then Charlie Bunn and Henry Carr completes the nine bike field. There's one bike joining in very late to the party. It looks like Oscar Rowland has just joined in in the nick of time. Sadly, no Reed Saxelby this weekend. Championship leader is absent, which means that these guys have a chance to catch up. Off we go, and it's a cracking start from the outset for Nelly Newth working her way through Paddock Bend and up towards the Rogerson straight out of the left-hander. They start on the other side of the circuit to what we're used to when we cover karting because normally they're along the Conrod straight for the finish line, but that's where they're approaching now. They're coming out of Luna flat on that throttle and it's going to be a very big lead isn't it the Nelly New has absolutely skyrocketed off the line so it's new that in front of the fast starting Emilio Pereira Austin Dilks okay, trying that. to get up the inside though to get into second place and has done it so Dilks has already made the move for P2 well, Nelly Newth, I can tell you, in race one yesterday, you may saw the graphic there as we just finished the grid. Nelly Newth won this race by over five seconds. First race was yesterday. No filming yesterday, but she won by over five seconds, and it looks like she's going to win by more than that now. She must be some sort of five seconds clear already, Jake, on the first lay of that. Absolutely astonishing, because she's definitely got the confidence to ride away. Austin Dilks now into second position, having made the move on Emilio Pereira. Still there in third position, the man from Middlesbrough. Then it is Finley Styles hustling to try and get into that top three. Randy Carter doing a fair job in P5. Then Joey Atherzic, Oscar Rowland, Charlie Bunn, and Henry Carr. Flat out through Luna, trying to get the throttle purchase all the way along the Conrod Strait as they work their way towards the S's for the first, uh, well, the first flying lap, if you will, because the first lap is always a little bit slow. Up the inside line, is that going to be the move from Finley Styles to get into third position? Not quite. Emilio Pereira had full confidence and has been able to convert that. That's amazing. To keep the throttle open and get alongside Austin Dilks. Dilks will not give him the opportunity. Oh, that was really counter-offensive for Emilio Pereira. He didn't want to lose that third position to Vinley Styles, so thought, right, I'd better get on with this. Held the throttle and is now challenging Austin Dilks. But he's going to lose that round the outside, isn't he? And that's uh, the rain is coming down. Rain is coming out big time here at Wigan, and we know how thunderous it can get. Now Nelly News leads, but of course she'll get oh to my each word, corner look at quickly. It. She'll get to each corner first, and you can see the rain coming down on this camera. She'll get to the corners first, so she will experience less and less grip as she goes on. Oh, and who's gone up? Off. Who's gone up in the background there? That is, I believe, Randy Carter losing it in the distance. So that is very unfortunate for Randy Carter. You're just using so much throttle as you come out of that heaven at Luna. Let's look at it again. And look, the bike just has no purchase to go onto the steering. Yeah, he's... Uh gone straight on now he can't pick the bike up he's down i think oh. he'll be okay it's a very slow crash but look at this jake nelly new yeah look going so slowly oh nelly Newth she's is losing ground down. so emilio Pereira is going to catch straight up to her now this is tentative the problem is she's got so much confidence in the dry but in the wet it's a completely different animal and here comes austin dilks now to get second so austin dilks down the inside of Pereira for second but nelly new has slowed right down She's uh, tiptoeing round now. Oh, She's look, get at, look at Pereira coming straight back in. He's really good on that outside line up the way towards the valley. And he's now going to try and dive back in on Austin Dilks. But Nelly Newth is just so nervous in the wet conditions. It's not the same race circuit, is it? In the dry compared to these damp conditions. At least the rain has eased a little bit now. Certainly up this part of the course it has. As we move a little bit further round, it's still a little bit edgy. There's Joey Atherzic trying to work his way into the top four. Just a slight shower. You can see that it's actually stopped raining in quite the same level of intensity, but that's Nelly Newt's massive lead suddenly washed away, isn't it? It's incredible, isn't it? it? She was leading by over five seconds, I think. She must have been. She won the race, won yesterday by over five seconds in the end. 
and she was leading this in the first lap by over five seconds, incredibly. But look at the lead now, it's incredible. Yeah, there's nothing to lose for Austin Dilks, having worked his way into second position. Now he can have a thunderous attack around the outside of Nelly Newth as they continue to duel away along the valley up towards that final section of the course. It gets very choppy there at the best of times. Holding it around the outside. Can Nelly Newth defend? No, she can't. And it's a fantastic run on the way through past the valley up towards the school start finish straight where they have it here on this particular configuration. And it's a perfect run for Austin Dilks into the lead. Nelly Newth is vanquished for the moment as the rain starts again. It's been patchy showers for the last four minutes and now the rain has returned on our camera lens up at the first corner. So Nelly Newth has got to be very careful that she doesn't lose out now to Emilio Pereira. But there is your new leader, Austin Dilks. Nelly Newth getting very fast indeed around the far side of Luna. She can actually carry quite a lot more speed going wider. Yeah, incredible battle going on here. Now she looks a little bit more confident in the conditions, but coming down the inside, that's Finley Stiles in the red suit. Finley Stiles down the inside, sweeps through into second place. And Finley Stiles, a man from Alloa in Scotland, is into second. Austin Dilks now should come under pressure from him. Uh, Nelly News, of course, was the championship leader after round one. That's Pereira looking down the inside, but can't get it done. She was the championship leader after round one. We know Reed Saxelby is a championship leader, but he's not here this weekend. And that leaves it open for Emilio Pereira, currently in, uh, what is he, in third place. Fourth position, fourth position fourth now. Position and, that's, and he starts with a lead. Stars has dived in on Austin Tilts. He was barely even a factor before the rain came down, sniffing away at the third position. But ever since this rain came down, Finley Stiles has picked it up and turned on the charm. Nelly Newth, by the way, has gone in a second position past Austin Dilks as well. So Stiles is into the lead. Newth is back in a second. And then we've got Stiles battling away with Emilio Pereira and Oscar Rowland trying to charge his way forward. In fact, I think that might even be Oscar Rowland trying to charge his way into fourth position. It is. So Pereira is down to B5. Oscar Rowland, who very nearly missed the start, don't forget, is now in B4. Amazing. Fantastic to see the likes of Finley Stiles, Jake. If you go back to round one, uh, where was he at round one? Here he certainly Newth. wasn't leading. And then here comes Newth down the inside. She takes the position back. And Nelly Newth in the graphic, the lady from Chippenham is back into the lead. It's fascinating, this race. What a fantastic battle. Last time we were here last year, we had three people battling for the win. We've got effectively what could be six riders here could take this, no doubt about it. There's five of them, that's the six. I think the man in seventh place, who is Charlie Bunn, slightly too far behind now, but uh, this is still anybody's. And the race really starts here. Nelly Newth, having got herself back into the lead of the race, has now got Finley Stiles and Austin Dilks for company. Oscar Rowland under pressure from Emilio Pereira. Joey Atherzic just trying to hang on in there. Down the main straight, up towards the valley we go. Last lap, Finley Stiles has got Nelly Newth on the run. Can he dive in on the inside? Doesn't want to take the risk. Through the right-hander, continuing on the battle. This is not going to be too easy to settle. Finley Stiles really wants a piece of Nelly Newth here. Coming down to the hairpin to go along the school straight once again. And don't forget, they come along the school straight, but the chequered flag will not be waved here. It'll be waved at the timing line. So effectively, it is several laps and a half is what they get out of it because of where the timing line is. So they've gone past where they started. Now they've got the run to Luna. Then it'll be through that long flowing right hairpin and then they will cross the line. But can Nelly Newth hang on from a very motivated Finley Stiles? Dilks is not far away. Oscar Rowland trying to get just that little bit of something back. And as they come off the turn, Finley Stiles looks pretty hungry, but he's going to have pressure of his own. I think Nelly Newth can hang on for this. They come down the straight for the last time and it will be Nelly Newth who hangs on for the victory. Brilliantly done. Excellent performance from Nelly Newth. She takes the win in front of Finley Styles. A great ride in the wet. Austin Dilks in third from Emilio Pereira, who is in the end fourth position ahead of Oscar Rowland, then Joey Atherzic and Charlie Bunn. Sadly, we lost Henry Carr. We also lost Randy Carter after his crash at Luna. But Nelly Newth leads, drops back, and then bounces back. Brilliant.